Hello everybody, my name is MK and welcome to my first ever computer build video. Now today, um, basically, I'm building a computer. This is a computer that somebody asked of me. Um, and yeah, uh, so let's just go ahead and jump right into this. Um, so uh, just showing you guys all the things that I got set up. I got this camera here for the close-ups uh, so that you can look at what I'm doing. Hello. Um, let me focus in a little bit more. There you go. Um, got the shotgun microphone right here and I got one light right here so that it can illuminate me and do all that kind of stuff. Um, got water right here. Yes, it's a pink cup. Deal with it. Um, graphics card, power supply, come on, power supply, obviously the case, motherboard with the RAM, or I'm sorry, the CPU and cooler already installed, I just went ahead and did that, um, I will walk through how you do it, uh, in a minute, um, RAM, 8 gig stick, and hard drive, 1 terabyte. Okay. And that uh, hard drive already has Windows 10 installed on it, so don't have to worry about that. So let's just go ahead and get started here. Firstly, let's uh, talk about how to install a CPU. Okay, so you see these little uh, square things, um, or square brackets. You have to line it up with this, um, and then this little lever right here. What well, it should be over here, and then you just push it down, and it'll lock it down into place. Uh, for Intel CPUs, you have a four little pushing things. Uh, whenever you push them down, it locks it into place for the stock CPU cooler. Um, uh, how the CPU works, how you put in the CPU. There's a little uh, corner on it, uh, usually marked, and there's a corner on the motherboard CPU slot. Uh, you just line up those little corners and then you plop it down. Uh, for AMDs, it has, um, the pins are on the CPU itself. For Intels, the pins are on the motherboard. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into what's inside the case here. Alright, let me move this. Now that we are inside the case here, as you can see. So as you can see, we're inside the case here. Um, and we have these little standoffs. Uh, they're little gold or copper looking things. Um, some cases come with them pre-installed, some don't. If, you, if they don't come with pre-installed, just hand tying it and you should be good. Um, if it does come pre-installed, um, then you're good to go already. So I went ahead and took the liberty of uh, going ahead and cable managing the stuff that goes to the front I.O. Um, you have to basically just kind of do that by ear. It's a little bit different for every case. Um, so I'm not going to be redoing that. Um, sometimes the fans are installed, sometimes they are not. Um, it just really depends. Uh, if it is not installed, make sure to install it to where the uh, wherever you're plugging it in on your motherboard, it is not the wire will not be hitting the fan constantly. Um, the one in the front almost always installed, uh, pre-installed, so you don't have to really worry about that. Um, so yeah, uh, let's just go ahead and jump right into what we're gonna do. So the first thing I'm going to go ahead and do is the motherboard. So as you can see, motherboard right there. I'm going to go ahead and drop it in here. And some uh, motherboards come with an I.O. shield, others do not. Uh, but how you just install the I.O. shield, which is this piece right here it's a little back plate io shield thing um basically you just have to pop this in and then take these little tabs right here and 
push them outwards so that they're not interfering. I cut off a couple of them because they were having issues, um, but just, yeah, do that. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and put in the motherboard right here. And you just gotta line it up to where it matches the IO shield uh, and to where each of the uh, holes that's on the motherboard here um, that I'll show you in a sec. Oops. Make sure that they match up and align. So as you can see, right here, there's one hole and you just gotta match it up to the standoff. And it's not really all that matched up, but I'm doing this one hand, there you go. There you go, it's all matched up. Um, and then there's another one up here, which you cannot see. There's another one right there, another one right there. And uh, so, Go ahead and get screws that look like. Go ahead and get screws that look like this, and uh, you can go ahead and start installing those into your motherboard. And uh, they can also be silver or black or whatever. Um, and sometimes they can even look like this. Uh, sometimes they can even look like that. Like I said, just pins on uh, your motherboard. Um, or I'm sorry, your case and everything like that. So yeah, just play it by ear and uh, you should, you, you, you'd be fine. you'll be fine. Now, if you're wondering why I'm installing the motherboard first instead of going in and installing the power supply, it's because of this guy right up here that you can't really see, but the uh, hole that's right up here um, is really hard to get to if there's a power supply blocking your path. I mean, whew. Especially if you have humongous hands like me. So the next thing that we're going to install is the power supply. Um, so this requires a lot of cable management. Now I did not t say this, but go ahead and make sure to turn, take off both sides of your case. Some have uh, both sides that have thumb screws that look like this, like this. Uh, sometimes they're metal, uh, sometimes they're solid black. But in general, you'll have some. It'll have at least one side with thumb screws. Some have both sides. Um, and then some have one side that also has these on them uh, instead of both sides having thumb screws. So yeah, you sh you'll be fine with that. Um, so for this, you gotta just lay your case down like that and plop it in. You can do the cable managing in a second. Make sure you put it in the right way as well. Uh, if you're if you don't have a top mounted one, let me put this in here. Uh, as you can see, this one's a top mounted one. Some have a bottom mounted one. Um, if yours is a bottom mounted one, uh, basically just let gravity do the work. It'll hold it down there. Um, 
if you happen to have a top mounted one on the other hand um, then you will have to lay it down like this and go ahead and take those screws that I showed you that I usually on this that I usually use for the side of one of the cases um, and screw it in. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and do some cable management here. Um, now cable management is easy if you have a case that can support it. Usually they have a lot of these uh, little openings as you can see back there, um, some, and they have them all over. So go ahead and put your case, take, pick up your case, and go ahead, take all your wires, and try to push them through that top one. Usually they have this top one that uh, they want most of your wires to run through. Uh, if you have a modular power supply, which I highly recommend modulars these days, um, then you won't have a, as many cables. Um, but yeah, just go ahead and push them all through, pull them as they go through, um, and you'll have all of them. There you go. And so now we can start running them. And at, okay, so first one you're always gonna want to do is the 24 uh, or the 20 plus four pin. Uh, sometimes it's just solid 24 pin. Go ahead, run it to the nearest one that's next to this on your motherboard. And turn it where turn it to where this little thing right here is um, going to face the outside over here on the 24 pin right here. Go ahead and do this. go you should hear it uh, or feel it go down and you're good with that um, go ahead and you can do whatever with this zip tie it do whatever um, just extra cable go ahead and unravel all your cables from back here after the 24 uh, pin is installed I'm gonna move that my water don't want it spilling everywhere Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is the CPU pins. As you can see right here, there's two of them uh, for different kinds of motherboards. In my experience, I've never really run into that other kind of motherboard, so I don't know. Um, So go ahead and route this one through. There's a very tiny, let me see if I can get it in frame here. It's really tiny. 
Okay, I think I got him, man. You see this little area right up here? Um, just go ahead and wrap those to there. Now, if you have a bottom mounted one, you want to route it as far up as you can get, or you can decide to go all the way up the motherboard. Um, I've done that before, and it works perfect. There we go, we got him. And go ahead and plug it in to this slot right here. As you can see, this, go ahead and plug it in, find which one uh, matches up and plug it in. Okay, looks like that one. Might have to have a you have to have a lot of workspace to do this kind of stuff. And you can go ahead and crunch this up and put it on top of the fan like that, and there you go. Um, like I said, if you have a bottom mounted one, deal with the cables. You can just literally wire it all the way up. Um, so, let's go ahead and install the hard drive because the GPU is a little bit big for this case. Um, let me go ahead and route all these cables through uh, where they need to be. So, this is the PC, uh, this is for the hard drive, so, um, I don't know if you guys can actually really see it. Uh, the hard drives go down in this bottom area right here. Um, so yeah, go ahead and route that through so it's coming out towards that bottom area. You can see right here, route that out. Um, I'm gonna take the PCIe and stuff. And my GPU is going to be about right here, so I'm going to put it through this one. And also, my this fan. Over here has a little plug-in that you can see right there. Um, let me brighten it up. It might get a little noisy here. Um, as you can see right there, uh, there's a little plug-in and there's a plug-in on your power supply as well, so you can do that. And that's pretty much it. Uh, go ahead and shove all your extra wires into a little spot. Uh, every, like I said, every case is different. Um, so, just find out what works for you.
and if you have extra hard drives and stuff like that, you can uh, use this other one, this other uh, hard drive cable and plug that in. Uh, but yeah, Dude, we're just installing one today. All right. All right, so the biggest part of the battle is basically done. Next thing that we're going to do is install the hard drive. Uh, so we have, we have a one terabyte hard drive here. We're gonna go ahead and install it right here. Um, so just, I'm gonna do the middle slot. Um, so just go ahead and slide it in and whenever it's in the right position, it just, just go right in. Uh, take, one of these kind of screws. And put it in there. Take another one. And put in the other one. You don't have to do both sides if you don't want to. It's completely up to you. I am gonna go ahead and do both sides. This is not my computer. So go ahead and take the cable for the IDE on your power supply and plug it into the slightly larger slot. That's on the... Uh, it's on your uh, hard drive. And it can be any one of these. I prefer to use the second one, actually. Um, that way I can have a lot of slack on both sides. And then take a SATA cable and plug it into the smaller portion on your hard drive, the smaller slot. And after that, you are going to want to take the SATA cable and plug it into one of these guys right here. If you can see, plug it into one of these. I'm gonna go ahead and plug it into this one. And there you go. All right, so the next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and do all the front panel stuff. Um, this stuff's always a big pain to deal with. So I highly recommend that you do this as early as possible, especially before doing your GPU. Um, so one sec, let me re-plug this in. Okay, so you won't be able to see this one as easily. Um, I just put this in on it. Okay, so as you can see down here, there's a lot of little uh, things that you have to plug into. Um, let me brighten it up to see if that helps. Yeah, that seems to help. Uh, there's a lot of little things that you got to plug into, and you're going to take these I.O. things, uh, or these things out right here, and you're going to go in and plug them in. Um, and you're also going to take your speaker and plug it into this top one. I'll go ahead and do that to show you guys. 
how it kind of works for the rest of them. Just go ahead and plug it in like that. Um, now you will have to find the manual for uh, whatever motherboard you're using uh, to know how to plug the front panel stuff in. Um, so yeah, let me go ahead and do that. Um, and if you happen to have a USB 3 thing on it, it will have these pins that look like it. Um, it'll look like this, except it'll be pins. Uh, go ahead and plug that in. It's usually along the side. Right over here, next, kind of next to the 24 pin. Okay, so we're almost done here, um, which is exciting. So the next thing I'm gonna go and do is the graphics card. Um, I usually do the graphics card last, uh, but let's just go ahead and do it before the RAM and plugging everything in. Um, so go ahead and, oops, I forgot to plug in the audio. It's a good thing to have audio. Uh, we're working with the R9 270X right now, if you guys are curious. Um, you can easily swap these out for like a GTX 1050 if you want. Um, very, very manageable to do. So let's go ahead and... That shit in there. And just pop it down like that. Oh, I didn't even show you guys. Let me... So find your PCIe slot, um, ours is right here, uh, as you can see, it's the, this one right here, but it's not that one, it's this one, sorry, this one right here. And I'm going to go ahead and put the graphics card in, so that I can actually have a display. Boop, do that. And the other thing that you want to do uh, if you can see right here, there's a Here's the thing, so you can screw it down. You will have to unscrew uh, this thing. Um, I just usually unscrew it one side, and you'll have to take out whichever one of these uh, little grills uh, that you need in order to do this. In this case, we need the second and third one. So go ahead and take this screw. I'll show you the screw in a minute. This is just so I don't lose it. Okay, so the screw that you're going to want to use to tighten it down. Not that screw. You're going to want to use this screw to tighten it down, as you can see. Okay, so the next thing you're gonna to wanna to do is take the PCIe guys and you're gonna to wanna to plug them in. They're usually on the top right here, but for some reason this graphics card is on the side, literally out of view. Um, 
Some take two eight pins, some take two uh, six pins, some take uh, one six pin, some take one eight pin. It's very different, um, but here's the, uh, this one takes two six pins, um, and these are both six plus two, meaning that you can have an eight pin if you want to. Go ahead and turn them so that they go in like this. And and then tuck away your power or cables. Now you're gonna wanna go ahead and start plugging in all your fans. Uh, this one's the back fan that I got right here. Um, so there should be a couple of different things on your motherboard. As you can see right over here, there's uh, one four pin that's for the CPU fan. Um, and then there's one three pin that's for this fan. And finally, the last thing to do is plug in the RAM. In this case we have one 8 gig stick. So just pop the little things that are right here, or, or not there, right here. Pop them down like that. Put it in the RAM. Make sure that the little marking lines up with the marking on the motherboard. And that's how you know it's in there. Then all that's left to do, make sure everything's plugged in, uh, push away all the cables that you don't use, um, and then just close it back up and you are good to go. You will have a brand new computer or if you want to build your, or if you're and you will have a computer completely built. Um, so yeah, so anyway, that is how you do it. That is the computer build. Uh, so I wanna thank you everybody so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a big thumbs up. You wanna see more, make sure to subscribe. Check out the awesome content I create, including the links that you'll see along the screen here at the end of this video. And I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye.